Hi guys, it's Cassie from Feradale Creation and I upload videos right here every single Wednesday all about sewing and how to use your sewing machine. In this video, it's all about how to read a sewing pattern envelope. If you've never sewed any clothes at all, I would highly recommend that you go to your fabric store and buy a pattern. Now, the reason I say this is that the pattern and the instructions are going to guide you along in how to make that garment. And if you get a really basic pattern, say like a t-shirt, I know it sounds really simple, but if you buy that t-shirt pattern, then it's going to help you progress into making more difficult patterns along the line. So go ahead and just buy that t-shirt pattern in order to practice on and so you can understand some of the basic lingo and jargon. So now you're in the fabric store. In the fabric store, they're going to have a collection of books available to you. Now these books have fashions all the way through the year through summer all the way through to winter and um, all the seasons so you can flick through the book and it's going to give you a basic information about the garments and in that book there's going to be a code that you need to write down and there's possibly going to be more than one size so just bear that in mind when you're looking at the book so now you've found that perfect garment that you want to make, your simple t-shirt or whatever it is, um, you're going to write that number down and you're going to give that to one of the sales associates. They're going to find the pattern for you and then you're going to ask them whether you can take the envelope with you around the store because in some patterns you're going to need that because you may need to know whether the fabric is going to work say on a stretch material and i'll go into that in a little bit more detail later on so this is our sewing pattern envelope and one thing to bear in mind and it's really really important is the size on the packet is not the size that you buy in the store in the stores are vanity sizes so if you're a size 10 in the store you are not going to be a size 10 in the pattern that is the first mistake i made when i started sewing so on the sizing they give you the sizes right across here and what you are going to notice is you're going to be different sizes for different things so you are going to have to adjust here and there and on another note about sewing pattern sizing, I would highly recommend that you just do it the proper way and go ahead and size your whole body. There are loads of resources on how to do that. The other way is just to look at the size and take the highest thing that you are and make the pattern. Um, the odds are it probably isn't gonna fit. Um, uh, it would just probably be a practice run for you just to see how the size fits. So on the front of this pattern, you are gonna see the code that you used in order to tell the sales associate which pattern it is. This is the brand of the pattern. And here it's telling you that this is gonna be a fast and easy make. Now it's gonna show you four different versions or maybe more of the same pattern so they're just going to be slightly different some have longer sleeves some have different necks some have no sleeves it just gives a variety of different options that you can use to make this top on the back of the pattern it's just going to show you again the construction of the garment and some of the details that you may need to do. So here it looks like you're going to have to do some sort of a gather at the bottom. And on these two options, you don't have to do that. So at the top here, it's going to let you know um, what the description of the product is. And it's going to let you know what's the difference between all these different tops. And it's also going to tell you if you need some sort of a notion like a zipper or hook and eye. So this is all the information you're going to need when you're walking around the fabric shop. 
because now it's going to tell you what kind of fabric is going to work best for this top and it's telling you what's unsuitable for the top because this pattern is a knit or a stretch is required it gives you this guideline here now in order to use this you're going to get your fabric and you're going to put it from here to here and then you're going to stretch it it needs to stretch to here and then it's going to work if it doesn't stretch to there then it's not going to work this is the fabric that i've purchased in order to make that top and as you can see it's stretchy so I'm going to put it against that diagram and just show you as an example. So I've placed my fabric down and I'm going to place it from here to here and it stretches. This is a fabric that I purchased for a skirt and as you can see I'm going to put it from here to here and it doesn't quite stretch as much as I need it to go in order to make this top. So this here is the amount of fabric that you're going to need for whichever size you're making from the top here and it's also telling me that I'm going to need some fusible interfacing if I'm going to make design A. And just this here it's just telling you the measurements for the finished garment. I'd like to thank you so much for watching and don't forget to hit subscribe so you don't miss seeing me next week. Bye!